Hey coaches, uh, got a quick video for you tonight. I've got a new RPO that I want to share with you. Uh, and, and honestly, it's actually two old plays that we're going to combine together and turn into one play. Uh, we're turn we're we're combining our our bubble screen with our salt and pepper RPO. We're going to put them together and make them one play. Uh, really it's uh you know we we just we haven't been very good at bubble uh through the years and i haven't called it enough to that's why we're not good at it is that i don't call it enough and then we were really happy with our salt and pepper rpo but the last couple of years we just basically stopped running it and uh so we're trying to we're trying to figure out how do you package those two things together and get them called so so that's what we're going to look at today uh, I'm really excited about it. I'm going to show you the two pieces, then I'm going to draw it up and, and explain how we're going to combine it. And, uh, and then when we get to spring practice, we'll get some tape on it and I'll show you tape. But I, I think it's going to be a dang good one for us. So let me go share and uh, let me show you the pieces of it first. So here is, and, it, and it's nothing fancy. Here is our Tom and Jerry screen. Tom is to the left, Jerry's to the right. We like it out of three by one. I'll explain the rules to you on this on this combining it together uh, thing that we're gonna do. But uh, but here's you know just just so you can see it. I know we all know what we're talking about. But this is the bubble screen, the way that we've run it in the past. And in the past, what we've had is if it was three over three and the quarterback didn't like it. He could just turn to this running back because the offensive line was, uh, they were blocking counter. So he could just turn to the, to the running back and say, you, you, and he could hand it to the running back. And it could, because the O-line didn't know, they thought on their, on their wristbands, it said 25. So uh, at any point, you know, the bailout, uh, the bailout for the, for the bubble was just handed off to the running back and we'll we'll uh we'll run the counter so that's that's what the that's what the bubble's supposed to look out we pedal out i know some people turn and run i just thought the pedal out was uh was an easier throw for the quarterback and uh honestly this has not been a, a big play for us ever uh and I, but this year we've got a, an h and a y that uh, personnel wise, this thing should be really good. So, so that's what we're looking at there. Then here is the example of the salt and pepper. So now we're running counter, we're swinging the running back, the quarterback's reading uh, either the defensive end or this outside backer. But if someone's running with the running back, he'll run it. So here's, here's what it looks like uh, when he runs it. You got that running back running with them. So that told the quarterback, go ahead and run the counter yourself. And that year we had a heck of a runner at, at, a, at a quarterback. All right. And then here's what it looks like when, when he throws it. So same situation, but no one ran with them. So it's just an easy swing out there and we get a good play on on the salt all right so it'll be salt to the left pepper to the right all right so that's what it, that's what the two pieces look like we got a bubble screen on one side and we've got the salt and pepper on the other side the salt and pepper has been good for us in the past uh what i'm looking at here here's the idea all right so now we will have the bubble screen on one side so we go three by one and we'll have the salt and pepper on the other side. So we know that if we get three on two and that's going to be the secret, you know, the secret really going to be is, is where's this walk player out of an even front, where's this walk player going to line up? If he lines up to the single side, then we'll have two on three over here and we'll go ahead and run the bubble. So he'll block one, he'll block two, and like I said, we have personnel for this this year. He'll do the pedal screen. The quarterback reads two on three. He knows he's throwing bubble. All right. At the same time, 
we've got salt and pepper coming this way. So we've got the, the swing. We've got Z blocking number one. If we went this side, that means the walk has now gone over here. So it's three on three. So the first read is just to count your numbers. Two on uh, three on two equals bubble. If uh, but if this guy walks over and it's three on three, now we know we got number for salt. So now we're running twenty four. So we would block down. We would block down. We would we would secure the one and go to linebacker. We would kick and we would wrap. All right. So there's the counter. The quarterback, he's already made his count. So he knows, all right, this time they had three on three. So we don't like we don't like the uh, the tunnel. So we're going salt side. So now his attention's turned over here, and he knows if one of these two run with it, that he's gonna run the football. If neither one of them, if he squeezes like he should. If he feels like he should, then this should be a free ball out here to the swing on the on the uh, running back. Our, you know, should be one of our best players out here all by himself with a one-on-one -on -one block out here with a Z. If one of these guys chase, it could be the end. It could be the backer. We've got a team that always likes to chase this backer is going to chase this, uh, this F. If he chases, now the quarterback just sticks his foot in the ground and he runs. 24 Q he runs it himself. So, so there's the combination. We, and I, I feel like it's going to be a heck of a play. We're still, we're going to call it the old name for the, for the bubble. So it'll still be Tom and Jerry, but in the past, we would have just, we would have blocked it this way and said, all right, if it was three on three, we'll just run the counter. But now it's turned into basically a triple option, but it's an easy decision for it's an easy decision for the uh, for the quarterback because all he's looking for is is it three on three out here or is it three on two? Is the walk on the on on the uh, single side? If it is, well then we probably got numbers over here. If the walks on the uh, over, has walked over to the to the trip side, well now we don't have a walk player over here, so we got numbers on this side. Uh, when in doubt, he can just stick it up in there and run the counter himself. But it, it's an easy decision. So this is this is going to be a yes no. This is going to be a yes no answer. Do I have three on two? If I have three on two, I'm going to throw this thing because I got the personnel this year. We can we can get the blocks. If I got three on three over here, the answer is no. And now it turns into salt. Now I'm reading, is someone chasing the F? If if no one's chasing, I'm going to swing it, and I got an easy big play. If someone does chase them, now I got five in the box, and I'm going to stick it up there and run the counter myself. So real excited about the play. I think it's got a lot of possibilities. I don't have I don't have real film on it yet, but we'll put it in this spring, and uh, and I'll and I'll get the cut ups to you as soon as we get them shot so uh appreciate appreciate you watching please like and subscribe and share and uh and uh throw some questions in there if you got questions about it uh i've got a book coming out hopefully by the end of the week uh the the uh high school air raid playbook and manual so hopefully as soon as i get that uh out and published uh we'll we'll uh i'll, I'll make sure i tell everyone on here but super excited about the book and super excited about this play Thank you, coaches.